Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College again. Welcome to part three of our video series of adding and subtracting numbers with different bases. In this video, we're going to do subtraction with lots of borrowing. But before we get started, we got to get out Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, ready to go? Yeah. All right. Today, we're doing subtraction. Oh, with borrowing. What? With different bases. Oh, ah, don't worry, he'll recover. Anyway, we are accustomed to borrowing in base 10, which means we were borrowing 10s. But in base 8, you just have to remember you are borrowing 8s. In base 4, you are borrowing 4s. And in base 2, you are borrowing 2s. Anyway, let's get started right there. All right, Charlie. We have eight digits, we're in base eight. Let's list our place values. Okay, and let's enter our base eight number. There's a four in our eight to the zero power, a five in our eight to the first power place value, another five, another five, and a four in our eight to the fourth power place value. There it is. Now, from that number, we're gonna subtract one, six, three, six, five, base eight. Don't get scared. All right, Charlie, here we go. Right away, we have to borrow. Notice we have 4 subtract 5, right? In our 8 to the first power place value. So we have to borrow an 8 from our 8 to the first power, right? Okay. And so notice the 5 becomes a 4. And now we get to add an 8 to that 4 in the 8 to the 0 place value. And what's 4 plus 8? 12. That's right. That's 12. And now we can do the subtraction. What's 12 subtract 5, Charlie? 7. There you go, you're doing good. All right, Charlie, now, we are in our eight to the first power place value. We have to do four subtract six. We can't do that, so we have to borrow an eight from our next place value, right? And so that five there becomes a four, and now we get to add an eight to our, that four up there, and what's four plus eight? 12. That's right, it's a 12, and now we can do our subtraction. Now, Charlie, what's 12 subtract six? Six. Very nice there, Charlie. You're doing good. Record that six. Now, we are in our eight squared place value, right? We have four of them, and we have to subtract how many? Three. All right, and what's four subtract three? One. Yeah, you like that one, huh? It's one. But don't worry, I won't put that on the test. Anyway, let's keep going here. Now, we're in our eight to the third power place value, right? Okay, now we have five of them, right? And we have to subtract how many? Six. That's right, so we have to borrow from our next column. So from the four, we borrow one, that becomes a three, and now we get to add an eight to that five. So what's five plus eight, Charlie? 13. Very nice there, Charlie, it's 13. So now we can do our subtraction. Okay, Charlie, what's 13 subtract six? Seven. Very nice there, Charlie, so we'll record that seven, and now we are in our Eight to the fourth power column, we have three, and we get to subtract one, which gives us how much, Charlie? Two. Very nice there, Charlie, it's two. And so now, our final answer is 27167 base eight. And notice we have two of these, seven of those, one of those, six of these, and seven of those. And there's our digits, 27167. And again, if you multiply and add everything together, you should end up with 11,895 base 10. Oh, what fun, let's do another one. Here we go, Charlie. Now, we're working in base four. So we'll list our place values for you. And let's go ahead and enter our base four number. We'll put a one there, a two there, a zero there, a zero there, and a one there. All right, now, here we go, Charlie. From that number, we're gonna subtract 3, 2, 2, 3, base 4. Don't get scared. All right, Charlie, we're going to use the force here. All right. So let's start off. 1 subtract 3. We can't do it, so we need to borrow. Remember, we're in base 4, so we are borrowing 4s, right? Okay, so we go to our next column from that 2. We need to borrow 1. And now we're going to add the 4. What's 1 plus 4, Charlie? 5. Very nice there. So now we can do our subtraction. What's 5 subtract 3? 2. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, we are in our four to the first power place value, right? We're trying to do one subtract two, but we can't do it. So we have to borrow, right? 
Yeah, notice in our next column there's a zero. So we have to come to the next column, which is another zero. So we come to our last column there, which is a one. So finally we can borrow. Now, remember we're borrowing four. So from this one, we get a borrow, so that becomes a zero. And now, Charlie, we get to add a four to that zero, right? And so what's zero plus four? Four. That's right. So there it is, right? Okay. Now we get to continue borrowing. From that four, we're going to borrow one, which makes it a three. And we get to add four to that next zero. What's zero plus four? Four. Four. There you go. Now we're almost home, Charlie. We're trying to get to that one. So again, we're going to borrow one from that four, which makes it a three. And now what's one plus four, Charlie? Five. Five. Very nice there, Charlie. So now we can do the subtraction. What's five subtract? Two. Three. Very nice. Next one. Three subtract two. One. Very nice there, Charlie. And now what's three subtract three? Zero. That's right. That's zero. You don't have to put the zero there unless you want to. And there's our answer. One, three, two, base four. All right, Charlie. So here we go. We have one of those four squares, three of those four to the first powers, and two of those four to the zero powers. And there's our digits, one, three, two. And if you multiply and add together, you should end up with 30 base 10. <sighs> we got one more to go. Don't get scared. Here we go, Charlie, base two. Now again, let's list our place values. And remember, in base two, we are borrowing twos. So here we go, Charlie. Let's enter our number here. We'll put a one, one, zero, one, and a one there. There it is. Now from that number, we are going to subtract. Oh, it's another one. One, 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 one. Okay, so there's all our numbers there. All right, now don't get scared. Here we go, Charlie. Now right away, one subtract one. We can do that, what's that? Zero. Very nice, so that's an easy one, right? Now next column, one subtract one, zero. Very nice, and no, they're all not gonna be like that. What? Anyway, so here we go, now we have to borrow. Notice we have zero subtract one, right? But we have to borrow from our next column, so that one is going to become a zero. There it is, it's in the two to the third column. But now remember, we are borrowing twos. So what's zero plus two? Two. That's right, and now we can do the subtraction 2 subtract 1 is what, Charlie? 1. Very nice there. So we'll go ahead and record that 1. Now, notice in our 2 to the 3rd column, we have 0. And we're trying to subtract 1. So we have to go to our 2 to the 4th column and borrow 1. That brings that down to a 0. And now we get to add 2 to that 0. And what's 0 plus 2? 2. 2. And you can do the subtraction. What's 2 subtract 1? 1. That's right, it's a one. And now we're in our two to the fourth column. We have zero there, we're trying to subtract one, so we have to borrow one from our two to the fifth column, right? All right, so that's gonna become a zero there, right? And now we get to add two to that zero over there, and what's zero plus two? Two, two, that's right, and two subtract one is one. Very nice there, Charlie. And notice we have nothing left in our two to the fifth power place value, so that's just a zero. And there's our result, one, 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 zero, zero. Oh, what fun. All right, Charlie, so notice here, we have one of these two to the fourth, one of these two cubes, one of these two squares, we have zero of those two to the first powers, and zero of those two to the zero powers, and there's our digits, one, 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 zero, zero. And if you multiply and add, you should end up with 28 base 10. There you go. That completes our three-part video series on adding and subtracting numbers with different bases. So it's not bad. You just got to practice and you'll be fine. And you don't want to end up like him. What's... Anyway, that's it for today. We'll see you again soon.